Hello, one and all. I'm Casual Raz, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. This is uh, a bit of a follow-up video on the system we made earlier in the longer video, and I've revised it a little bit, and I'm quite happy with how it works. So let's just quickly go over what this does. Basically, it's a heat removal system, or as I like to call it, the heat elimination and removal plunge, or hurt for short. But yes. Anyway, so it's basically reliant on pumping the liquid cooled, pre-cooled into an area and using that to cool down our electrolyzers, because they are a bit of a bugger to cool considering the small form factor of this design. Now we went through a few iterations and I'm sure you've seen the previous video on how to build this system and how awesome it is and all that jazz, but basically it relies on a cooling chamber down here and an aqua tuner to cool the liquid as we desire, which is currently between 20 and 15 degrees and a drop chamber for the water to return, so it doesn't require any power to empty, which is really cool. So this was the first uh, iteration. Unfortunately, it turns out the airflow from this guy is a bit poor, to be honest. Yeah, because I've just I've had to put in there, and the, the airflow tiles aren't sufficient to really push any pressure out, to be honest. The second iteration goes with a more traditional design, and the airflow is superior, easily. Oh yes, you don't have to use a pump to get really far away or anything like that. Fortunately, the cooling isn't as good. Like for down here, the water is 16 degrees and the electrolyzer is at 70, which means the oxygen is at 60. Pretty good because the uh, heat sink effect of all the metal involved and that sort of stuff. The gas pumps at 15, but obviously that's irrelevant. And the next system up with the better airflow is at 21 for basically the same settings. So yeah, to push that a bit slower it might be difficult, but you know, 21 is probably just right. In fact, it's probably a bit cold. I did accidentally really undercool the base. We want it between 20 and 25-ish. So a bit of tweaking on the water temperature. I believe it would be absolutely fine. So this system right here, I think is probably the best system in terms of getting the oxygen out and getting the cooling going. This just doesn't do the oxygen, unfortunately. Yeah, which is unfortunate, but you know, that's life. So how does the drop return? Well, basically, it pumps up from the reservoir, fills up our little alcove here, and once it's reached uh, a higher temperature than 24, this little thermal switch activates, opens the door on a timer, drops the water back. Now, if you've seen the previous video, you'll notice there are some differences. I had to throw in these airflow tiles here. I did originally just have one there. Didn't work. The air just has real trouble flowing out. It's a real horror. So you need a corner like this. Otherwise, you're going to have an overpressure. It's going to blow out and be horrible and hilarious. Yeah, so this is the basically the finished version. I quite like it. And we've also tried to cool the polymer press. Did I get a sec? No, I'm looking at the wrong one. That's the finished version. There we go. Yes, so 800 kilos is about the right effect to set off the device, and of course, if we uh, forcibly set it off real quick, it drains out. And after about 30 seconds, it kicks the door closed, everyone's happy, fresh, nice cool water comes in. That's so cool. Now, originally, when I had the gas problems with overpressurizing, I did use a mini pump to pull the gas out. You can still do that if you want to vacuum this off. Well, it's not really necessary as long as you have this setup here. And finally, we did actually go with the polymer press. Now, 27 degrees, that ain't bad. I had some trouble getting this working. It's a case of the polymer press doesn't really transfer much heat out of itself. It's really a pain in the butt. So, this, these are the tiles here, and you'd think that the uh, temp shift plates at the back would be fine. It just doesn't really interact with them too well, so you need um, a gas medium, and hydrogen is your best bet. It will work with oxygen. It ran at about 40 degrees C when using oxygen. It's strange. The polymer press may need some adjustments for its uh, thermal transfer. It's a bit strange. There were times when the plates weren't heating up at all, and it was odd. It really was. But this setup here kind of works for it. It has to be on mesh tiles if you allow any of the water to build up it starts to overheat. It's most peculiar. So we have granites transfer the heat across. The granites, the cooling system is basically cooling the glass to be honest, and the gas is cooling the press. 
Really? See, you could probably do these walks. Maybe. Although the, the tiles are helping. Because they're connected to the granite, so it's a bit weird. But I've never seen this one actually drop on its own. It's weird. 25 degrees. Hey. And getting the temperature read off it is close to impossible. Because there's just no movement of the heat from the press to everything else. It's so strange. But anyway, that's the basics of this system. I'm very happy with how it turned out, to be honest. Yeah. Unfortunately, I did accidentally undercool the base by having 5 degree water run through the cooling system, all the oxygen was a bit, yeah. Whoops. But, mm. uh, Let's see, let's see. What else is there? Any other differences from the main video? No, I don't think so. That basically is the gist of the system. It's currently at 21, so that might trigger at some point. Ooh, it might trigger soon. It's, it's close, we're in a few degrees. 20 degree oxygen, ain't that just beautiful? And the water is still at 15.9, so basically heat's getting pulled across into the water. When the water heats up, it dumps the lot. And you can actually, once I've figured out how to sort out the pressure issue, in fact I can show you guys right now, let's see. You can make an exit for your dupes, if you wish. So if you throw a door, we are in the evil mode still, admittedly. Door there, door there. Mesh tile there. Uh, admittedly, it's not on the ground floor, which kind of sucks, but we need that. If you throw a duplicate checkpoint there and there, admittedly, we should uh, probably uncover it, but hey. Uh, that's right, we have automation. What was it? The knot gate? It was a buffer and a knot gate. Right, so we have buffer gate. Have the buffer gate. Uh, let's see. Admittedly, because it's, there's one above, it's going to be a bit. Another pain to hook it up, but an okay. gate. Okay, so what you do is on the buffer, from each and every uh, door you've got, run it to this green cup there. Like so. And then run the output from that. Oop, needs to spin that around. To a knot gate to convert it. Come on, there we go. Ah. Run that out and run that to these. That will open them up only when there's no water on the way, basically. I do need to power these gates as well. Lazy mode. Right, so if we open one of these real quick. It's hard to show it with the thing on there. So if we forcibly open that, it locks the gates. Nobody gets wet. And it kind of looks cool as well. Hmm. Interestingly, I don't know if a dupe stood in there would actually get wet, but... It's more of a principal thing, really. Poor guys, don't want them getting soaked. Now, it doesn't help if they decide to stand in there for no reason. But hey, I mean, what can you do? <laughs> oh, food shortage, better feed these guys. Cool. Right, so that covers the basics of the um, heat elimination removal and heat elimination and removal plunge. Yeah, perps is so much easier. Yeah, so as this water heats up from the expelled preheated uh, water, the, uh, eventually the thermo acutrina will kick in, but it takes forever. It's super efficient, not going to lie. You just make sure you've got enough pumps ready to uh, supply a decent amount of water if you're cooling something that gets stupidly hot. Like maybe polymer presses or something like that. But anyway, I hope uh, this was a good follow-up to the strange night of creating I have had. So I'm Casual Raz, this is option not included, and... Uh, yeah, I love this system, it's so cool. See you all next time.